This is gigantic. That's what she said! <laughs> Strayblade combines cartoonish and yet bloody art style and decent voice acting with more sexual innuendo than the meat market. Why is everything so... big? It's a strange choice to bind the stealth button on the caps lock key. I am Dorian the Explorer! Oh, sorry. I am Dorian the Explorer and I played the first two hours of Strayblade to see if it is a refund or a real fun. We are playing Farron, a male or female adventurer who is accompanied by a talkative yet mystical fairy. We explore the open world, gather plants, metal and new blueprints to craft ourselves powerful weapons and armor, taking down the at first insanely strong enemies in a time sensitive combat. Equipped with various weapons we are able to dodge, parry and block while dealing light and heavy attacks limited by a stamina bar. This stamina bar can be replenished with perfect reactions according to the enemy's intentions, with blue attacks indicating that we need to parry, while red means dodge. Frustratingly, each opponent has a different attack speed, meaning some blue charge attacks are finished after a short time, while others are taking far longer. Combining these unreliable attack patterns with the extremely narrow perfect parry or dodge window meant that I spent the majority of the first battles lying on the floor with the urge to smash my mouse against the wall. Luckily for my mouse, I quickly found blueprints for more defensive gear, giving me far more mistakes before I bit the dust. Bitten the dust? Have bitten the... Bitten the dust. Yeah, that sounds right. Another option Strayblade provides us to avoid tech problems is the advantage the backstabbing of an unaware enemy brings. Although, to be fair, the stealthy part gets completely lost on me, with Farron not even bothering to crouch, but rather just strolling closer to the enemy. Skipping the selfie apart for more action meant I had to look somewhere else for an easier time in the fight, since, let's be real, my skill and timing was already perfect. Yes, it's perfect. It's perf- Come on, block already! Such combat advantages can be found in the skill tree, which provides us with more health and stamina points as well as weapon overarching power-ups. This simple talent tree offers the chance to play with whatever weapon we fancy without handicapping and limiting us with weapon-specific upgrades. Next to the talent tree of Farron, Boji the Talking Fairy has his own talent tree, providing us with power-ups to runes and crafting, as well as unique spells we can unlock further into the story. Talking about Boji, I have to admit that the dynamic between the two main characters was quite fun and intriguing, with the decent voice acting paired with charmingly sarcastic dialogue. A lot of quickly ramping up level ups and a bunch of UI bugs later, I was close to the planned 2 hour game time, so I finished up, arriving at the following verdict. Strayblade has a lively and cartoonishly stylized open world, with many hours to explore and invest in. If there wasn't a clunky and often frustrating combat and the reoccurring bugs, giving it the feeling of being just unfinished. Therefore, I would say that Strayblade is a refund instead of a real fun. Would you agree with my verdict? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and as always, have a great day or evening.